This is News 4 Nashville. Tonight, a closer look at the explosive lawsuit filed against top officials at the health department. Following her nationally reported firing, Dr. Michelle Fiscus is alleging the department deliberately made her out to be dishonest and immoral in the public eye. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas read through the entire 25-page suit. Rebecca, the allegations are lengthy. Yeah, they certainly are. The whole 25-page report, the whole lawsuit, I should say, is right here, and it holds the state responsible for everything, from Dr. Fiscus's emotional distress to the reason she feels the need to move her family out of Tennessee. False, stigmatizing, and defamatory. In a 25-page lawsuit, Dr. Michelle Fiscus's attorneys accused top officials at the Tennessee Department of Health of a deliberate attempt to stigmatize and defame her. Fiscus's firing came days after she emailed out a memo containing Tennessee's law on administering vaccines to minors without parental consent. The following day, the health department sent a letter to media outlets, alleging the basis for her firing was in part about that memo, saying it was, quote, a letter regarding her own interpretation of state and federal law with external partners with respect to vaccinations and other medical treatment of minors. But according to the lawsuit, that memorandum was provided to Dr. Fiscus verbatim by the Department of Health's attorney in this email. It goes on to say that memo is still on the Department of Health's website. I did not buy the muzzle. I did not send it to myself. The lawsuit also accuses the state of omitting key facts in an investigation into a muzzle Dr. Fiscus was sent days before her firing. The report released by the Department of Homeland Security shows the muzzle was purchased on Dr. Fiscus's credit card by a secondary Amazon account in her name. The lawsuit claims the report failed to mention the credit card used to purchase the muzzle had been lost and canceled more than a year prior. Well, the lawsuit also alleges Dr. Fiscus's constitutional rights were violated when she was denied a name-clearing hearing by the Department of Health. Lauren? It's so interesting. Dr. Michelle Fiscus has since commented on this lawsuit, and it reads in part, quote, the complaint and declaration speak for themselves. I look forward to my name being cleared despite the Tennessee Department of Health's denial of my right to do so. Of course, News 4 is working for you and staying on top of this developing story as we continue to get new information. We'll pass it along to you through our News 4 app. New at 10, in a recent Twitter post, Dr. Alex Jahangir made a startling claim. He says Tennessee is now number one in new COVID cases per capita. That means if we were our own country, we could be number two for new cases in the world, adding it doesn't have to be this way get the vaccine. And today was the second day in a row. Tennessee set a record for the highest amount of COVID-19 hospitalizations ever in our entire state. 3,500 people are now in the hospital fighting the virus. 79 are pediatric patients. We've now exceeded the winter peak back in January. So today, Governor Leap and state officials spoke out for the first time on this. And News 4's Marissa Sulik was in the room. She has more on the spike tonight. Today, Dr. Piercy says there's about 7,700 new cases of COVID-19 reported in Tennessee a day. One third of those are in children and with two school districts in our area closing due to COVID-19, Governor Lee says he's not going to make any changes going forward. Districts do have the ability to impose a mask requirement in any school district across the state. Today, Governor Lee gave an unclear message on what parents should do with their kids when it comes to masks in schools. Right now, there is the executive order in place that allows parents to opt out of mask mandates imposed by school districts. You don't have to exclude. You don't have to either or. You, we really believe that you can find a way forward that allows for the best adherence possible, and that's what the strategy is. Governor Lee says the best strategy moving forward isn't to mask students, but to get people vaccinated and get more funding for hospitals. But this group of doctors who came to speak to Governor Lee after today's presser says they were ignored. I can't tell you how many of my own friends kids have COVID right now and how many families I've spoken with in the last two weeks where the kids got COVID at school. And this is just reckless. Now today, Dr. Piercy also pushed for children critically ill with COVID-19 to get monoclonal antibodies. She says so far, 100 doses have been given to children. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville.
And because of all the recent COVID outbreaks among children, several schools here in Middle Tennessee have closed. Rutherford County schools will be closed tomorrow because of staffing issues. They'll pick back up Tuesday, September 7th. Now in Sumner County, to slow the spread, schools will be closed until September 10th. And that means they're going to pick classes back up on Monday, September 13th. And Wilson County schools are also closed until next Tuesday. School districts say they're using stockpile days.